All right, tough question before the House. Why aren't men working, including prime age men? Their participation rate seems to be down about 20 percent. And here to talk about it is David Bonson, the author of the new book, Full Time Work and the Meaning of Life. Uh, yeah, David, men ought to work. But I want to go. We're going to put up on the full screen this chart, labor force participation rate for men. You'll see it in just a second. It's a terrible looking chart. Why is this in your judgment? Um, I think that we're in a cultural epidemic. Uh, it is primarily prime working age men. And I think that there is an extended adolescence. People are not entering the workforce in their young 20s. Mm. There's a war on teenage employment. Who's going to hire a 16-year-old to work part-time at a fast food restaurant for $23 an hour? Mm. They're entering in their 20s with no skills, no experience. And then you have the problem, I think, the, the pot, the video games. These are cultural things. It's not political, but it's put downward pressure on men working. Government benefits, part of that? Absolutely. It, it, it feeds a negative feedback loop because there may be a cultural cause to the problem, mm -hmm. but then it gets worsened by a government response. So, um, look, I, I'm not here to talk through my hat. I'll just say I work six days a week. I do five days a week on television, glad to do it, as many things as Fox wants me to do. I'm very grateful to be here. And I do the three-hour radio show. In fact, you're coming on again this weekend to talk about stock market. Now, that's just my, that's my ethos. That's what I know. And I, I don't want it any other way. Why are we losing that? I, again, I'm not, I don't think I'm special. I'm just saying I think a lot of people in my generation, which is almost our generation, that we, I just believe in work. Work is a good thing. You make a buck, but it's a good thing. Keeps you occupied, keeps the brain going. So, you know, Larry, it's not just you who work six days a week. It's not just me. You know where I got it from? God, because he worked for six days and rested one. Good point. And good that point. is the creational model for all of us. Yeah. Work six days, rest one. Now, we're blessed by technology, efficiency. We don't have to work as hard, as much, as physical pain as we used to. But this idea that we want to go into a life of pure leisure and recreation, it's not what God made us for. It's mm. making people hopeless. It's making them helpless. And then it's taking away seniority, expertise, wisdom out of the workforce. I don't want 25-year-olds running the newsroom at right. the New York Times. Right. We want 60-year-olds who have been around a little bit. And, and you the know, country, I think... You're right. That's no, a good point. We've got to get up. The country and the economy needs yes. that. I mean, th these are prime age, not old guys. Yeah. That's uh, 25 to 49-year-olds. I always, every time I talk to the White House interns, I used to say that, work hard. And when you're working hard, work even harder still. It's the only way. And you're a hard worker, too, David Bonson. What's the name of the book? Put it up there. It's up on the full screen. Uh, full time, work and the meaning of life. David Bonson, thank you, buddy. Appreciate Thanks, it. Buddy. I'll be right back, folks. There it is.